Mourning the death of Noah Quattro one year later, the four-year-old's parents are accused of torturing and killing him. And as the I-Team first reported last week, his great-grandmother has now filed a lawsuit against the county for failing to protect him. One of Noah's relatives spoke exclusively with investigative reporter Lolita Lopez today about the young life cut tragically short. I think about him every day. Beautiful yet painful memories for Maggie Hernandez. Her great nephew Noah Quattro died exactly one year ago today. I do cry at night for him because just thinking of a whole year of torture. Noah's parents are accused of abusing and murdering him. He was such a good little boy and it's hard for me to understand why she wouldn't love him the way that he wanted her to love him. Or, her, or his dad. Speaking exclusively with the NBC4i team, she also says the actions of the LA County Department of Children and Family Services, which monitored Noah's care since he was born, put the little boy at risk. We feel like little Noah needs justice. As the I team first reported, Maggie's mother, who had custody several times when Noah was taken out of his parents' home, filed this lawsuit last week against the county and several agencies who handle child welfare cases. In a statement, DCFS says it is unable to comment on pending litigation. If we don't stand up and like speak on his behalf, then no man, people will forget about him or, you know, things might happen to another child. The I-Team's months-long review of Noah's case found in May 2019, just two months before the four-year-old's death, a request to remove the boy from the parent's home was approved by a judge but not followed through with. In another instance, a judge returned Noah to his parents over the objections of a social worker. Gabriel, Anthony, Noah, three children under DCFS supervision in the Antelope Valley have died since 2013. After Noah's Death. Removal orders not executed are now reviewed by the head of DCFS. The department has also said it has added more staff and reduced caseloads for social workers in the Antelope Valley. I just remember his little hands up mm -hmm. and like looking at me with his like beautiful brown eyes. Maggie is focused on creating change and a lasting memory of Noah with plans to plant a tree with the plaque near his former daycare in Silmar. We're giving back um, into this world a tree that people all can enjoy. For the I-Team, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.